Hey everyone, it's John from IT Skills Academy. Let me first of all take this chance to thank everyone who is subscribing to my channel. And if you're watching this video and you have subscribed to my channel, I take this opportunity to thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're the person who makes me to wake up very early in the morning to create such helpful videos. So uh, having said that, uh, let's continue. I know that you're probably in this video because you're experiencing this problem of not being able to open PHP My Admin. And this means that you are unable to access your database. But well no more because I'm here to fix your problem. As you can see from my screen, uh, I'm getting an error that MySQL shut down unexpectedly and I'm also getting other bunch of errors. But the question is, how can you be able to fix this problem? So it's very, very simple. So the first thing that you want to do is uh, to access your file explorer. And in this case, we want to access uh, the path of uh, the ZAMP control panel. So I'll head on to my local disk C, uh, ZAMP. And here I want to uh, locate the MySQL. And here you're going to see a bunch of folders and files and we want to access the data folder so this is uh, the folder that contains the data that helps you to um, work with uh, the uh, ZAMP control panel or the ZAMP uh, localhost uh, server for that case so now what we want to do here is we want to come and rename this uh, folder as data underscore old or you can just give it a different name. So after renaming uh, the folder, you want to head on to the folder named uh, backup. But before you get there, you want to first of all create a new folder. So I'll just come here and create a new folder. In my case, I'm using a Windows 11. So uh, uh, what you are seeing here might be different from what you are seeing on your screen if you are not using Windows 11. But uh, basically, we're just creating folders here, which I think is a simple procedure. So we want to come and name this folder data. And uh, when I open this folder, you'll uh, notice that we don't have anything inside it. Yeah, so this folder is empty. So now what we want to do is now to head on back to uh, the uh, backup folder. And here we want to copy everything that we have here. And we want to come and paste it in the newly created folder. So we come and paste it there. Yeah, and that's all. So if I come and minimize this, and now I try to start the MySQL module, that still will not work. So let me just close it and i restart it and i'll run it here as an administrator and so here flex because um, i have uh, these two modules um, auto starting automatically you'll see that they start automatically so we have the mysql module running successfully and we also have the apache module running uh, successfully i can even just stop them and then start them again and you can see that fixes the problem but one thing though, you have to make sure that you back up all your databases because this will uh, make you to lose all the databases that you have saved. So uh, before you start this procedure, ensure that you have a backup of all your databases. Hope that fixes your problem. Thanks for watching and as usual, see you in the next one.